Hey, good morning. So it is, what day is it? Monday. Um, I'm just getting the kids ready for school, got everything done. Just remember that I haven't had any breakfast. Like I've said before, running out of the house without having breakfast is one of the things I tend to do. Um, I was gonna do my typical egg and beans, but I've decided I bought some mangoes yesterday and they are quite soft, so they need juice. So I'm gonna do some mango, I've got kiwi here, mango and kiwi, and I'm gonna have peach, peach and passion fruit bug, yum. So now I'm gonna cut that up, just poured out my cup of tea. I've got my lunch here to take to work. Um, I've got a nice busy drink. Um, these are the Tropical Blast Zero Sugar ones from Aldi. I had one of those yesterday, it's just like little, really nice. Got some of my Spanish chicken that we done, Spanish chicken that we done in the slow cooker in there. Um, smells really nice. I didn't actually try any, it was so full from the barbecue last night. I didn't want to try any, but it smells really nice. So I'm excited for that. I've made a huge batch, which is going to see myself and probably my husband for lunches through most of the week. So I've got my jacket potato to heat up and some salad in there as well. I will probably grab an apple and a banana to go with that. I am teaching, well I'm not teaching, I'm assessing. We've done the teaching part, so I'm doing assessments at work today. So I will get half an hour break, so I will have time therefore to heat my lunch up and eat it, which is good. Yeah, so that is this week. I haven't been as good this week at writing and putting everything in my app, I must say. Um, so when I look through my vlog later, to put it all together, because it's way day Wednesday, so today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, going to kind of be seeing where I am when I put that together, because I haven't kept the best track this week. So it's how quickly you can slide, isn't it? Like, I need to get back on to doing that, so that I, I know without any question how I've done at the end of each day. Whereas this week just seems to have gone by in a bit of a rush, and I haven't kept track of that obviously i have kept track through the vlog and in my head which is never a good place to keep track because i'm very forgetful but i think i've done all right anyway but we'll see won't we hope your week's going well um let me know in the comments how you've been finding this week any struggles we can do this together can't we yes yes it's all about the planning isn't it i am definitely my slim and world quote would be. Yeah, so my motto for Slim and World definitely would be fail to prepare, prepare to fail, and that is 100% true for me. If I don't plan, then I fail. Anyway, speaking about planning, so I'm not taking any Hex Bs to work or Hex As. I'm going to have to sin some of my milk because I am doing a meatball calzone for dinner, and I found this recipe on Boothie's Slim and World on Instagram. It looks really tasty and I know this is one the kids are gonna love. And I am always trying to find recipes that I can cook that the boys will eat as well. I don't mind doing them a separate dinner a couple of nights a week, but I would rather we all sat down together and ate the same thing. So that is a constant challenge, finding meals that they will eat also, which usually has to involve something made of minced beef and tomato, like just a mixed up spaghetti bolognese. Um, because they change their mind, they'll try something and say, that's nice and I'll cook it the next week and then they don't like it. But anyway, the Nando's chicken was a hit last week. That was a good one with the kids. And tonight I'm doing this meatball calzone, which I know they'll really enjoy. I know they'll like that one, but that uses my hex B and two hex A's. So I'm gonna have to work out what milk I'm sitting in. This is the sort of thing you should actually work out before you have it, but I'm not having any other sins for the day. So it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be a massive thing anyway. Yeah, so that's that's it. I will come back to you later this evening and we'll go through cooking this meatball calzone because it looks really yummy. Yeah, have a good day. Yummy, this looks delicious. So I am cooking a meatball calzone recipe that is on Boothie's Simmer World on Instagram. So my meatballs are in here simmering. Um, she made hers. I have used skinny meatballs from Aldi and it is half a sim for three, which is perfect. We're having three each. I've got my Weight Watchers wraps here, which they're going to go into and go in the oven. Then they're going to be topped with Primula cheese and cheese, which are my healthy extras. I have got some potatoes in here, which I've got JD seasoned chips and wedge spice on, which is really tasty. And I am just preparing little salad to go with it so i'll show you how it turns out it looks really tasty so i'm thinking this is a meal the boys are gonna love so fingers crossed they do yeah that's it so my calzones are a total mess come out of the oven i put one tin foil i didn't think to spray it with fry light and now they're just all stuck so coming out looking something like this not what i'd planned so there's not really rescuing any rescuing that um 
It's not the pretty dinner I was hoping for, but hopefully it tastes nice. So just at my dinner, we peed off today. Like, it's, well, this afternoon we've had some really annoying news to do with the house and just generally feeling a bit peeved. And then I totally stuffed up dinner and um, it's just like tasted okay, I guess. A bit like a um, plate of slop. So yeah, really annoyed with that, especially as it took a hex B and a hex A. I was expecting this lovely dinner and it was just, yeah, sloppy plate of food, which is rubbish. And it always annoys me if I have a rubbish dinner. Um, so yeah, with that combined with the other news, which is really cheesing me off, kind of the night that I would usually decide to have a glass of wine and a very large Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations. But I am tossing it up in my head as I walk the dogs. What is going to pee me off more? Continuing being peed off tonight and maybe having a heart leash jelly or going in on Wednesday and getting a gain. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep my willpower up. I'm going to focus on a weight loss on Wednesday, which fingers crossed I'll be getting. And I am not going to buy chocolate and I'm not going to drink wine. I'm just gonna suck it up, have a little jelly with some whipped cream, have an early night and get back on it tomorrow. I mean, we all have those days, don't we? And I am triggered for food. Like if I'm annoyed, I like, I eat. If I'm happy, I like to eat too. I kind of like to eat on all emotions, but definitely an emotional eater. And definitely after having a dinner that I didn't particularly enjoy. My first step this evening would usually be like a tub of Ben and Jerry's or a Marvelous Creations chocolate, but I'm not going to do that. So stay strong. We can do it. It's all down to that willpower, isn't it? And choosing which of the two things you'd rather have. And I know I'm getting close. Well, I've got four pounds for my stone. I really want that. If I could get that in the next couple of weeks, I'd be really chuffed. So um, I'm going to keep strong. Stay strong. Good morning. Just preparing breakfast, lunch, it's all on the go. So I'm having my normal egg and beans for breakfast. So I am just getting them ready. I have got my Spanish chicken in the microwave. I am taking that into work for lunch. Um, so you may wonder why I put it in the microwave. I have just cooked up some rice in my microwave steamer. And I've got some boiling water in my show flask ready. These are awesome. I haven't used this since the winter actually. I don't usually take hot food in in the summer, but I'm gonna use this today. So I'm gonna pop some, I'm gonna heat up some rice and my Spanish chicken's gonna go in there and that is gonna be there ready for me to eat at lunchtime. I've never had a cold lunch out of this, even when I've eaten at like three o'clock and I put it in at like seven o'clock in the morning, it is always still really hot. So I've got my water on, I'm just gonna put some vinegar in that, ready to poach my eggs. Who else puts vinegar in their poached egg water? Find it comes out so much better. So yeah, that is, um, beans are gonna go in the microwave when my chicken comes out. I'm gonna pop all that in my flask. Lovely, I'm ready for lunch. Other things I have for lunch, I've got my, I was gonna say lilt, but it's not lilt, my chocolate blast, zero from Aldi. I've got a banoffee pie. Haven't tried that one before. I checked the sins on that, just to double check. I've got a couple of Alpen bars for my hex B and, a load of fruit. This evening, I am gonna cook my favorite, I've got these out to remind me because I'm very forgetful. I'm gonna cook my favorite chicken curry. The boys love that too. And I think I'm gonna do that with, I don't know if I'll do egg fried rice or I'm just gonna go for boiled rice. Depends how much time and how fancy I'm feeling. Joshua has a school disco after school. So it's a little bit of a, I think, rush job. Ouch, here's my Spanish chicken. Um, this was the one we done the other day in the slow cooker. It is, smells delicious. I had it yesterday with a baked potato. Really, really nice. So, beans in. So yeah, really happy to be having that for lunch. Mark's taking that for lunch as well. So I done that part, I think there was four, four chicken breasts or five chicken breasts. And that's gonna probably do both of us for lunch for the week. So that makes it really nice and easy. You're on top of everything. You've got something to grab and go and take, which just makes life a lot easier. And that's what it's all about, just gonna put my eggs in. Broken one of my eggs, is that not the most like the most annoying thing when you get a broken egg? I go out for breakfast and someone gives me a broken or hard poached egg, I'm really annoyed. So I'm a bit annoyed I've just broken my egg, but hey hey, I don't
going on 3 a.s. so that'll have to do. So I hope you're having a good week. Hope you're having a good day. Let me know how you're getting on. Tomorrow is my way day. I feel like I've done all right this week. I've had a few different things. I'm not getting very far on my plan. So <laughs> see all these lovely planners on Instagram. This is mine. This is as far as it got. And so far, yesterday I did do the meatball calzoni. As you'll see, absolute disaster. Spanish rice and chicken I've got for tonight, but I, I decided to have the Spanish rice and chicken for lunches. Jacket potatoes tomorrow. Um, a cheesy fajita pasta I saw at Slimmer World with Chris had that one, that looks quite nice for Thursday. And chicken kebabs with egg fried rice and the Mayflower curry sauce, which I'm actually now doing this evening, but as a chicken curry. So my plan is, I don't have a plan. Again, it's just busyness and chaos. So I am planning day by day, but I have got the stuff in and I have got the ideas. So I think I'm doing all right. How do you guys get on with planning? Because I see all these super planned people and I always wish I could do that. I'm just so rubbish at planning. Because my plans change, I'm like, oh, what if I don't want that that night? Or what if I'm running late? Or I've forgotten that Josh has got a school disco, so we need a quick dinner for tonight. But anyway, is what it is. I'm going to eat breakfast because we've got to go in like 10 minutes. I'm a chicken curry tonight. I'm just frying off my onions and mushrooms. I'm using the Mayflower curry sauce mix. If you haven't had this before, you can usually pick it up at Home Bargains and B&M for 99p. It is awesome. So I'm just frying off the onions and mushrooms and I'm going to chop up my chicken breast. So I've just weighed out 85 grams of my Mayflower sauce and I'm going to mix that with 340 ml of water to make the sauce. Okay, this is four sins for 100 grams made up. Obviously, this dish is going to be served out between four of us. So I am going to allow myself four sins for that, even though I will probably be having slightly less sauce. So I'm just frying off my chicken. I've got some potatoes, which I've just stuck in my microwave steamer to parboil and they're going to be... Fried with fry, sprayed with fry light and go into the air fryer. So I'm going to give that sauce a little mix before it goes into the microwave. So I was disappointed. I'd get stuck in there before I'd have been bothered. Good morning, so it's way day Wednesday. I am just getting ready to do the school run. My goodness, there are only two more of those left this year. Well, one today for me and then tomorrow I'm at work. So this is actually my last school run of this year. I hadn't thought of that until just now. So I'm all prepped here. Now I'm gonna have my breakfast quickly. I'm having two Asda chocolate wheat bisques. These are two for your healthy extra. I'm gonna use some, some skimmed milk from my milk allowance. Got my lunch ready. I've got my Spanish chicken and rice in my show flask, all heated up, ready for lunchtime. Chopped up some apple and mango in there. Got my drink for later, this one for during the day. I didn't eat my quark, um, quark, whatever you call it, banoffee yogurt yesterday, so that's in the fridge at work, so I'll have that as well. And that is me for today. And it's way day Wednesday, so I have my way in tonight. Looking forward to finding out if we've lost weight this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But let me know how you get on anyway, if you've had a good week and if you've been successful in your weight loss, if you've had your way in this week or if you've got it yet to come. And yeah, I will let you know later how we get on with that one. Hi, yeah. So I've just done my way in and I've lost a pound this week. So would have liked a little bit more, but one pound's better than no pounds, isn't it? So I'm still happy with that. I've got three pounds to go to hit my stone. So I am going to really be on it this week. I might even do a few speed days. I'd really like to hit the stone mark. Picked up some hi-fi bars. Um, so I've totally run out. These are my favourite. Fruit and nut and triple chocolate. Yummy. So anyway, yeah, pound off this week. I'm super happy with that. And I can feel, I can feel that I'm getting back to my sort of happy weight where I feel better and everything. So that's my week this week. I hope you've enjoyed it and stuck with me through it. I hope you've had a good week too and your weigh-in's gone as you want it to. If it hasn't, we've got this next week. We'll do it together. Let's get some speed days in. Yeah, so last thing, if you're enjoying the vlogs, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. 